Welcome back to Kevin Toll Reads. Hope you're having a great Thursday. I wanted to kind of put a thought out there. I don't know if this is a, a rant, if it's just my inner thoughts being vocalized, shared with you all. But I have a question. Do you feel like ratings, when it comes to booktubers, do you feel like ratings matter? Do you feel like rating a book a 4 out of 5 or a 8 out of 10 or an 8.1 out of 10 or a 4.3 out of 5, do you think that's going away? Do you think that it really matters? A lot of YouTubers are going to a plus plus or negative or minus, they're going to a thumbs up, thumbs down, or like Professor X does, I think a red or green light, yellow light, red light, or just go into the old, I recommend the book, I don't recommend the book. Is is that the direction, you know, things are should go? Does it make everyone feel more comfortable? Or is it just easier? Or after a while, you read so many books as a booktuber, you get so muddled and books tend to overlap. Because if you're like me, when, you know, I'm reading this, this is an absolute banger of a book. This is so flipping good. I'm blown away. I envision a huge score for this. Huge. But it's got to deliver in the, re the last half of the book. But with that being said, how do I, do I base this off of Goblet of Fire from Harry Potter? Do I base this off of another thriller book I read? How do, you know, do I get real nitpicky? Do, is it just, I'm in a good headspace and so, or I'm happy today. And there's a lot of subjectivity when it comes to writing books. And I understand that. I, I, I do. I, I feel like probably I grade very harsh. I grade very hard because I have a lot that I expect. And I think over time, the more you read, I think the more certain things really, those are the things that really get you going. And there's certain things that those are things that are just really just like, what are you doing? Maybe that over time influence your scoring. So I guess what I'm trying to say here is, is one, there is a noticeable change in booktubers on booktube that are going away from number rated systems because of all the variables involved. And are going to just, you know, an easier system. I don't think it's laziness. I think it's them that just, just struggle to compare apples and oranges at some, some, you know, it's hard. And so I'm not saying I'm going to change how I'm doing things. I just noticed that. And I kind of wanted to get your feedback. When I do my reviews and I rate my books... Do sometimes you feel like I'm off my rocker? Like, what are you thinking? You know, I'm sure when I was, take for instance, and this is complete recency bias, but when I went through uh, the Harry Potter books, maybe I was completely biased by that. When I took Bad Monkey and I rated it a three and a half out of five, am I being too harsh? Is it just me? Everyone else liked it, so I've got to be the, you know, I'm the enigma. You know, I don't know. I honestly think that the rating is really truly like the old cliche, the beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And so, in my opinion, I think that people should rate their books how they see fit. And I think there's no right or wrong way. And if people want to go to an easier system that where they can lump things together more easily and just put it in these two or three or four buckets and that's fine. I think everyone's entitled to do that and I, I understand why people would. I think if you break it down even further, the whole point of rating books is really to pass along your knowledge and your experience of the book on to someone else so that they can make a judgment call. If you go into Audible or you go into Goodreads or you go into other um, book sites where there is a catalog or there's a compilation of scoring and you come across a book or you hear about a book or you guys recommend me a book and I do my research and I go out there 
if you go through people putting in ratings and comments, I I think you would honestly never pull the trigger on any book because there's always going to be people that don't like a book. Um, but that's that, that's me. So, again, this is just kind of a weird... I'm just throwing my thoughts out there to you all, but I'm interested. I would like to know, what's your thoughts about rating? How heavily influenced are you by how books are rated? Whether it's on my cha- you know, channel, whether it's on the other you know, YouTube channels, booktube channels, if it's Goodreads and whatnot. How heavily influenced are you? And do you feel like trying to get really overcomplicated about ratings matters or doesn't? So let me know your thoughts. Uh, I, I, this is a weird video, but I just like I needed to get it said. So anyways, hope you're having a great Thursday. Again, I love your feedback. If you don't want to, that's fine too. So have a great Thursday. Bye.